The last time Saba Labu Hussein heard from her son Yahya Saleh, he was planning to board a migrant vessel from conflict to read in Libya to Europe. That was two weeks ago. The Egyptian housewife said on Sunday that she begged him not to go, but that he had become fed up with living conditions in the village. The 18-year-old was on board an old fishing trawler that sailed from the town of Tobruk in eastern Libya on June 9th. His destination was Italy like many other young men from his village in Egypt's Nile Delta. There were as many as 750 migrants, including women and children, on the boat that, instead of docking in Italy, capsized and sunk off Greece in one of the deepest parts in the Mediterranean Sea. Only 104 migrants survived the tragedy. Greek authorities retrieved 78 bodies on June 14th and chances of finding anyone else alive have diminished. The shipwreck appears to be one of the worst tragedies in the Mediterranean in recent history, raising questions and outrage over how European authorities have dealt with the influx of migrants in the past years. Like many relatives of those on board the fishing vessels, Saleh's family don't know the fate of their son. He was the second of four children born to a family of farmers and, and left home less than a month ago without telling his family about his plans. He surfaced in Libya. His father Mohammed Saleh said the family's efforts to dissuade him from making the journey failed. The family is from Ibrash in the agricultural Nile Delta province of Shakya, where water buffaloes, cows, and donkeys share dirty roads with cars, motorbikes, and three wheeled rickshaws known as tukutukus. Many of the area's young men and teenagers have met the Pelias trip to Libya, hoping to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. The government regularly tries to discourage its young men from illegal migration, but the country's economic crisis has motivated many to try to live despite the dangers. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.